Hello guys, KP Shamino here and you guys can see I got the unique smallmouth bass. I'm very happy because to be honest it was a very difficult unique to catch for the simple reason that I was just fishing at the wrong day. I thought it was going to be a sunny day because it was a sunny day uh, during the tournament. So I thought yeah they implemented it in the tournament. But we didn't get one unique smallmouth bass in the tournament. Not in the semi-finals and not in the final. So I thought he was sitting on like a, a spot that we don't reach a lot if we go for large mount bass. The spot was right after all but the main problem was the day was not right. So I spent I think 30 sunny days and I got a lot of trophies, I got a lot of action, I was really happy. But the main problem was I was not getting the unique smallmouth bass. And I was like, how is that possible? Okay, unique can be very difficult sometimes, but 30 days in game and you don't get the unique is not possible. So what did I do? I went from a sunny day to a cloudy day at the same position. And after the second day, I got the fish. So it's a very beautiful fish. Uh, I must say it's the first time that I see it. It's 3.1 kilograms. So that's the first one in the leaderboard, I think, because at the moment I think only four or five people got him. So I'm going to show you guys how you need to catch him. It's after all not that complicated now that I know how you need to do it. But the main problem is it took a lot of work. So let's keep this fellow. So for the guys that don't know, if you uh, see here on the map, Bass likes rock for, uh, formations and the thing is that a bass likes spinning bait, likes worms and likes uh, casting spoons. How do I know that? That's the tooltip in the game. So they are just saying what you need to use. I used the casting spoon for this one, but I'm almost 100% sure if you go with the worm, uh, if you go with the spinning bait, I think you are going to get the unique too. I'm going to make a bobber uh, video too because I discovered a uh, bait that only gives trophies. So I think if I go in the happy time or the sweet time for the unique with that bait, I'm going to get the unique too. I'm almost sure of it, but the bobber fishing tutorial is going to be another video. So my position is over here that I get them. It's possible that you can get them on the other positions. I will show you guys really quick the other positions for smallmouth bass. So redeer sunfish position. If you go here against the wall, I will do with my blue marker is smallmouth bass. It's a possibility you can get unique there too, but I didn't get it here. Okay, so another position that is really good. You just go to here. You run all the way to the right and everybody knows the two trees in the water. If you go, and this is a glitch all the time because I'm jumping, if you go over here, like this, so against the wall at the left of the, the tree, you are going to get trophy smallmouth best too. So, but I didn't get it there. I got it on the position that is the hardest to reach, and that's over here. So... Here you got like rock formation and smallmouth bass likes rock formation and from here to here is like a very good position and is the position that I got unique. So what you need to do is my main problem was how can I get that position? Uh, I can throw from here, but the main problem is I'm only going to be like a couple of meters in the sweet spot. So I started to think I needed to make an angle. That is from here to here. And if you see my blue marker, the angle needs to be over here. And that's where I'm standing too. So you just go a little bit to the left. Like this. And now you can see I can throw really easy from here all the way to here. And I'm a long time in the sweet zone. Okay. So what you need to do is you just throw over here. So there are little rocks in the water. You just throw against them. It's going to be 42 meters or something. Uh, you put your speed on 3 because it's just a simple stop and go. So 45 is a little bit too far. Because I'm now in the, the small stones over there. It's not really good. But now it's starting to become good. So 43 meters. You see it on the lure. I got now one snack. And then I'm out of those small stones. So just do a speed 3. And do a stop and go. And there is a bite. But it was a small one. So let the lure back, going back to the bottom, you just do like this, very simple, it's not complicated.
so that's what you need to do you can reel in all the way to 25 meters I got uh, a pass on 25 meters shorter to me I don't get a pass so but it's the influence of that rock construction that you see in front of you all the bass is sitting around that okay that's what you need to do guys so just come over here put yourself on the position that I'm sitting and you can go really easy in the area that is uh, yeah a very good hotspot for the unique small mode bass time frame I got him between 7 uh, what I'm saying now between 6 and 7 a.m. yeah at the moment it's 5 o'clock in the morning I'm doing this for 13 hours now, so therefore I'm a little bit tired. So it's between 6 and 7 a.m. I think between 5 and 6 you can get it too, because if you check the chart, that's the best time starts right away in the day. But I got it between 6 and 7 a.m. cloudy day, because that's a bug. You guys see at the top that it's now sunny, but it's not sunny, it's a cloudy day. So you see it here. This is a cloudy day. So it's a bug in the game. So you need to be cloudy day 6 to 7 a.m. Okay. My setup. My setup is straight on. So I'm just. Yeah. And I got the bug again here too. So I just fishing with the Tora 219. I'm going with the Hornet Swarm 6000. I'm going with the Breadline 0 0.23. Why the Hornet Swarm? Uh, it's very good on recovery. So it's very easy to uh, stop and go. So you just can go with speed 3, just click it once, your lure goes up, very easy, it stops, and that's very handy, because if you need to work for a very good presentation, you are going to miss a lot of fish, because, yeah, your, your lure is most of the time just waiting on the bottom. Casting spoon, 21G, 3O, but I think if you go with the worm, or if you go with the spinner bait, I think it's going to work too. So if you guys want to test it, go ahead. And check it out. If it works, just post it under the video. And then everybody can see that it works too. Very important is if you want to go with something else, you need to go 3040 hook because that's the number that you need to have. If you go under that number, you are going to get a lot of normal and I think even young uh, smallmouth bass. So 3040 is the hook that you need to have. Otherwise, it's too small fish. So a simple setup. That's it. And now I'm going to check what this fish gives. Because I didn't saw it. It gives uh, 6 gold. That's not that bad. It's a little bit more, I think, than the, the panfish uniques here. I got a nice amount of fish. So, uh, yeah. It's a cool fish. That was it, guys. Very complicated fish. Uh, but once I figured out it was not sunny but cloudy, <laughs> it was a lot easier for me. So... That's all what I can see. You guys know the position. You guys know the time frame. You guys know what you can use. And I cannot say more than that. So if you like the video, give me a like. If you like my channel, subscribe please. Have fun with the unique small mode bass. I'm going to work now on the bobber version. For the guy that likes to go with the match rod. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.